Hey guys, I'm Zed. It's Z. Um, we are set up. Again, sorry about the audio quality. We're trying to get it all worked out. The funny thing about this video that we're about to film for you guys, I had just bought packs and everything right before the house burned down. Mm -hmm. I had literally, I had sent you pictures. We are going to be doing a jumpstart battle. And you know more about this than I do. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we got two packs of Jumpstart apiece. We're going to basically just open them up, see what we got, and slap them together, play a couple games. Um, yeah, I think these are pretty fun little products. Uh, very good for like getting people intro into the game, learning how to play and whatever. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's really just going to be more of a cool, let's see what we pull kind of thing. And, you know... See how this uh, impromptu recording session goes. Yes, this is totally impromptu. As you can see, you can see my couch. There's nothing. And we even have a live studio audience because my wife is standing in our kitchen playing her Switch. Hey. So if you hear noises, it's her. We'll blame her about those. Uh, so let's open them up and see. Yeah, so pack one, let's see what we get. Man, these packs are so harder to open. Okay, what did so, you get? Uh, I got Above the Clouds as my first one. Ooh. Uh, and that that just screams to me bread method. So, let's see what we get. Tree Hugging. Ooh. So I got green. So, do we want to show the camera the cards we got? Uh, what I think we'll do, just so we can keep it a surprise for everybody else, is we'll also kind of just keep the packs hidden, and we'll show them in the game. Okay. This is going to be an interesting one. I'm not a green player. Let's see what we get out of pack two here. What did you get? What a clinky dink. Now, there is something that I have found out, because I've done some research. Just because we got the, the same one here, nope. doesn't mean the cards are the same. Because no. there's four different variances of each one. So the big funny thing though, is I have had instances with Jumpstart specifically where I've bought in four packs of Jumpstart and I got three goblins that were card for card identical. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh this is gonna be an interesting battle. I just saw what mine is. Ooh. Pirates. Okay. So it's gonna be a little green blue battle. And we'll put that there. Okay. Oh, the two colors I don't know them that much about. The best colored combination in Commander. Now, do we want to cut and sleeve or just go? Uh, it's up to you. Normally cutting and sleeving would be a little bit better, but at the same time, that's gonna be time consuming. Because um, I suck at this kind of a shuffle. Oh, we're bridging it. I do that when I'm not sleeved. And I'm very careful. Oh, we're going to get some comments about this. Oh, I know. Trust me. I don't like doing it. We don't, but for time... And sorry, we're not going to really be looking at the screen because, well, we figure you guys aren't paying attention to us. And I'm at a very bad angle. Yeah, sorry. This was literally in Prop 2. We just brought Z over to show him the apartment and we're like, let's do a video. Always works out the best, right? Oh, yeah. 
Let me shuffle one more. And remember, this isn't Commander, so we're going to play traditional rules here. 20 life. 20 life. Alright. Um, With that being said... I am currently off screen setting the phone. <coughs> okay, there we go. 20. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. that there for that there yep oh oh nice okay one two three one two three uh, I'll go first all right I thought we were <laughs> Sorry. You're good. My brain is um, sleepy. Oh, wow. Okay. That worked for you? It works. We'll go, we'll go with it. Okay. Um, Thriving Grove, I'm calling blue is my second color. Wonder why. We're going to go island. And pass. Uh. Ooh, already got a play going. Keen Glide Master. Go Ooh, ahead okay. and go. Mm. Turn it to your hand. And scribe one so I could look at the top part of my library. And what I like about this is you really can't build your deck. No, good. so it, it's luck of the draw. Uh, we'll play a forest and let's just try to run it back. Lightmaster? I didn't know you had that in your hand. Go ahead and go. Well, what card I get? Um, go ahead. Come on, I believe in the heart of the card. Oh wait, wrong game. <laughs> it's okay, I believe in a thing called love. Which, by the way, guys, we have been talking about doing possibly some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Uh, going into combat. Glide Master for two. Go. Ah, cool. Uh, Thriving Isle. Oh, it comes in the battlefield tap. I will call green. And, unfortunately, I have to pass. Unfortunately, I, I like that. Just do an island. And then... I think we're just going to go right back into Wombat Combat and hit you for two. Okay, my turn? Yep. Okay, I'm going to untap and I draw. Cool, now we can actually get something going here. Blue, green, and we're gonna play my spider. 
spinner, stunning spinner, uh, snare spinner, snare spinner. He has reach, and when snare spinner blocks a creature with flying, snare spinner gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. Okay. Go ahead. As you're moving to your end step. Uh oh. I'm like going to capture sphere your uh, spinner, which is going to tap it down, and it will not untap during your controller's its controller's untap step. Oh, so that's that that's permanently. Yeah, it's tapped down. You're not going to oh. tap right now. Hi, I'm just a simple control player. I, I see how you are, Z. I see how you are. Um, we're going to play forest. And we're gonna go right back into combat and get you for two. My turn. Yep. Obviously, those come on top. All right. Well, that's okay. Uh, Are going to go with. Sorry, guys. Uh, this is actually how magic goes with, for me. I'm always looking. Want to put Wall of Blossoms, Defender. When Wall of Blossoms enters the battlefield, draw a card. Cool. Fair enough. So we're gonna tap, tap, expanse, explore, explore. I get to play an extra land, and you get to draw a card. So I will draw, and I will play another force. That will go to my graveyard, but that's all I can do. So go ahead. Now, what is the fender? So what a defender is, is it does not have the ability to attack. That, that's it, right? Pretty much. Okay, cool. But I can't block your flyer there, right? You would not be able to block a flyer. That would have to be a reach, which is more I... Uh, My spider gets yeah. uh, tapped out. Uh, Roman Ghost Light. It's going to have an enter the battlefield trigger that will return up to one target non-spirit to its owner's hand. Last I checked, Wall of Blossoms is not a spirit. Please bounce it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then what I would like to do is go into combat. For two. And spread the love for two. Go ahead and go. Yeah, this is just a normal game of magic. Oh no, I'm, I'm never this mean. Mm -mm. No, actually, you're not. Um, wall Blossoms. Oh, hey, enter the battlefield. You get to draw a card. Oh, I do. See? So nice. <laughs> oh. Okay. So... We're gonna go ahead and play the card I actually drew. Bluff first orc. Oak oak. Okay, that's a thing. It's a tree folk. When you draw a card, he gets plus two plus two until the end of the turn. Yep. But because my card has summoning sickness, it is your turn. Well that's a danger. I'm gonna cast Nature's Way. Okay. Target creature I control gets Vigilance and Trample until the end of the turn. I'm gonna target my Roaming Ghost Light. Okay. It also deals damage equal to its power to target creature I don't control. I'm gonna have it deal three to your Oak. Okay. 
And then I'm going to pay a blue, plus two, and that's gonna gain flying. So, five. Five in the air. So I'm down to seven. Yep. And I will pass the turn. I'm sorry, that's a vigilance, so it should be untapped. Okay. I will play an island for turn. Two, three, four. I'll bring out my other tree. Wonder of the Woods. In response, I'm going to unsubstantiate that and return it to your hand. Um, because of that, I get to... I'm doing this while it's on the stack. I'm not letting it resolve. Turn targets. Spell. Okay. Go! I say you, he's scary. I'm gonna give my, give my glide master flying. Okay. And I'm gonna come rumbling in for five. So I am now down to two. two. I will pass the turn along. Okay. <coughs> I will play an island. I mean, a force for the turn. Mm. Response for my no. Okay. Um, he has no enter the battlefield triggers, but when he becomes target of spell or ability, for the control, draw two cards. Okay. Okay. And I gotta save my book. Oh no, I can't. Oh. I think that's game. Pass turn. Okay. Do you want to go to a two out of three? Or Cause yeah, you you would attack and kill me, right? I can, yeah. Unless you have something in hand. No. I got nothing that I can play in hand. Okay. So if you want, it's up to you. Yeah, that's game. Alright. So we'll go to two out of three. See, I needed one more mana. And I would have been able to kill your flyer. I would have still killed you. I got mana screwed. I had a lot of mana that game. I had two islands and most of my hand was four stuff. <laughs> but I thought, oh no, I can do something with this. With... Okay, let's just be real. That's how most magic games go. Well, yeah. There, you get the variance in there, so it's not too bad. Would you like to play or draw? Um, I'm going to play. Okay. Before I even look at my cards. You can might choose. And unfortunately, I wasn't even able to use it in my pirate stuff. But that's all good. Ew. 
Okay, I think we can make this work. We're gonna try. Okay, so I don't draw because um, first turn I'm gonna play an island, tap it to play my spirit pirate. Okay, I think that's the thing. He has flash flying and if I pay three one blue, I get a draw card, but go ahead. Ringo. And I know some people, you guys are gonna say, I wasted it because he is a flash. I needed something on the board. Attack oh. you for one. Take one. Go. Play an island, tap. Play Explore. I may play an additional land this turn and I'll draw a card. Nice. And I'll go ahead and play a Forest, then pass the turn. Okay. Untap, draw. Is it draw, then untap, or is it? Untap, upkeep, draw. Untap, upkeep, draw. Yep. Okay. Play my land for the turn. We're gonna play to top my two islands and I'm going to get me another spirit pirate. Um uh, this this spike deck hand becomes target of a spell, sacrifice it. Uh deck hand cannot be blocked except for by spirits. Paying three one blue, another target creature you control cannot be blocked this turn except by spirits. And I'm going to attack you for one, possibly? Yep. Take Go ahead. one. I really am curious. I always love magic because I always get curious what's in your hand when I'm playing. Yeah, it leads to some interesting scenarios. I'm going to play a tight skimmer. Oh. So it's a 2 3 flying Drake. Whenever I attack with two or more creatures in flying, I get to draw a card. Go ahead and go. Oh, you got a flyer now, huh? Yep. He's bigger than your sailor. Hey, I like my sailor. I'm going to play Thriving Grove. I'm like, obviously, the color blue as my secondary. Sorry about that phone stuff. So I'm going to play two and I'm going to get me a human pirate this time. Kite Cell Corsair. Corsair. He has flying as long as he's attacking. Yep. Um Think about your next move very carefully. I'm going to attack you for two. Take two. Go ahead. Mm. Going to have to add some background music. So I'm gonna cast Frost Breath. Okay. Targeting your departed deck hand, which will cause him to sacrifice, and I'm going to target your spectral sailor, which will tap him and will not untap during your next untap step. Your deck hand's two, ability says two, when he's targeted two, by a oh, spell. Oh, two. Okay. So that and then that gets tapped down, and because your corsair does not have flying right now, I'm gonna crash back in for two. Oh. Go ahead and go. Alright, so I'm going to untap, and this does not untap this turn. I'm going to play Thriving Isle, calling green. This is what I need. I'm going to play two chest 
Charter Course. Charter Course. I get to draw two cards. Ooh. Nice. And let's discard a card. Unless I attack it with the creature this turn. You have not attacked. Oh, I put I misplayed that. Okay. Learning experience though. It's always good. I don't think I was gonna to get to play this, so I'll just discard that. Um That's my problem with magic sometimes, guys. I make misplays. I'm going to attack you for two, possibly. Yep, I'll Go take ahead. the two. Untap. Keep draw. There we go. That's fun. Just a little bit late. I'm gonna play a wall of blossoms. Enter the battlefield trigger, draw a card. Okay. I'm gonna play a sneer spinner. Ooh, nice. Then I'm going to move into combat. Come out with Wanta. And I'm going to hit you for two. Okay. Go ahead and go. So, there was an tap. Now, this untaps this turn. I like your nice little wall of blossoms there. Ooh, how do I want to play this? Okay, okay. Defense. Pay three. Play Pirates Cut this. When Pirate Cutters enters the battlefield, attach it to a pirate you control. And it gets plus two plus one. Okay. Then I'm going to pay two. And I will play my wall of blossoms. Okay. <clears throat> and entering combat. Are you gonna draw your card for wall of blossoms? No. I'm going to go to combat and attack with uh, my two pirates here. I'm going to eat your sailor alive and I will take four. Okay. Okay. It's your turn. And. Play an island. Mm. Roaming Ghost Light. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and bounce that Corsair to your hand, please. Okay. So that will just go to the battlefield. Yep. And I would like to move into combat. Okay. I'm going to go for two. And pass the turn. Play a force for turn. Press. So inconvenient of me. Well, I had a move and then I can't make the move because it's okay though. Let's play one blue, two, three, and four. And we'll play some pirates here. Some 
Prosperous Pirates. Uh, when Prosperous Pirates enters the battlefield, create two treasure tokens. Okay. So you get two little treasures. Tap, tap. Two. So you're going to use those treasures to go ahead and equip the Cutlass. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. Only problem is I don't have a way of getting through your defenses as it stands. Here we go, boys. Okay. So I'm gonna play King Glidemaster. Mm-hmm. Your gains flying until the turn. Okay. And I'm going to move into combat. Okay. I'm going to attack for five in the air, which is going to cause my Tide Skimmer to trigger, and I will draw a card. So I will go down to nine. That is correct. And I will pass the turn. I need something to give me Trample. And that does not. So... Does it help me? No. Well, yes and no. Um. One. Green. Green. Three. Um. I cannot say that. Verdant Embrace. Enchant Creature. Enchant Creature gets plus three, plus three. And has at the beginning of each upkeep create a 1 1 green spoiling creature token. In response, I'm gonna go ahead and capture sphere that. It's gonna tap down and doesn't untap during its unstep. You can have it make 1 1, guys. He's no longer going to uh, be a big boy. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. And don't worry guys, this is us playing magic. Neither of us are actually getting mad at each other for <laughs> what we're doing. Yeah, we're just looking at the best way to make it happen. We may get frustrated during the game, but afterwards we're fine. Blind Master is going to fly. Okay. And then that's going to be a combination of three, five, and seven coming at you. How Trigger. Glide Master Five. Oh. That's okay. Ability. And then because I'm attacking with two or more flyers, I'm going to draw a card. That's seven coming at you. So I will be down to two. Yep. Moving into the post combat main, I'm going to tap four and play an Ambassador Oak. Whenever it enters the battlefield, I'll create a 1-1 one, one green elf warrior token. In order to represent that, I'm going to use the tree hugging thing here and flip that upside down. Okay. And that'll be my turn. So I will untap, and because this I get to make one. Yep. And I will use my tree hugging to represent my token. Is it each turn or... At the beginning of each upkeep. Excuse me. So that would count mine as well. So I would technically have two. Two right now, yes. One would be summoning sick, however. And I don't... Again, this was all prompt. <laughs> in prompt. Okay, so I got two. Um, but this is still tapped because of this. Yes. Okay. Okay. I don't like the fact that you walked down my big guy. <laughs> you will do it because it must be done. Oh. So now next turn he'll untap. And then
we will lock down your guy. And go. But I think that's going to be pretty much game. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too late. I'm going to play Reign of Revelation. That means I get to draw three and discard a card. Not bad. One, two, three. And discard, so I'll discard an island. Play my land for a turn. Going into combat. We're just gonna go at you with the same three boy. Or, well, I'm just gonna go at you with these two in the air, which will trigger. I will draw a card. And that's good. Cool. Just wanted to make sure you didn't have anything. No, I'm actually tapped out. Uh, nothing on the field. Perfect. Yeah. So, so I'm just curious what my next card would have been. I mean, something airship. Uh, Rashad and airship. Rashad and airship cannot. Can block only creatures with flying. It's not bad. I actually like this combination. Yeah. This the, the for impromptu. This was kind of interesting combination. Oh yeah. Even though I didn't get to attack with my big boy. No, no, you didn't. And for what it's worth, I was kind of sitting on a big boy myself. I just. Yeah. If for some reason I couldn't end you there, I was looking at maybe getting rid of the embrace. So. Not bad. Um, that was actually pretty fun. Um, it's usually how our magic games go. Z's, Z usually ends up winning. Yeah. It's experience, so no big deal. But it was fun. Um, as always, good game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you guys like the video, go down below, do all the YouTube stuff, you know. I hate actually having to ask, but it does help. And if you guys want more content like this, please subscribe because we want to be playing. We're, we're going to be wanting to. We want to play more games, not just talk about the stuff. And we want to make more content for you guys. So... Yeah, I mean, ultimately that was just pretty bare bones, basic game of match back to ye olden days. But, you know, hopefully this gives you a kind of a scale of what these jumpstart decks can be when you throw them together and have fun with your friends. I just laugh that we both got what we got. Yeah, the double tree hugging is the thing. But like I said, with jumpstart, I've had a lot of that experience where I'll get the same packs or I'll get a bunch of dupes. And for what it's worth, like in the tree hugging... Our rares, if you want to look at them real quick, are super similar. So they're both creature-based draw. Huh. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may draw a card. When an un another non-token creature enters the battlefield untapped, you're... under your control, you may draw a card. Oh, nice. So two good creature-based draw spells in green. And um, these, okay, what I did was I went to Walmart and bought the four pack. Yeah. Now, I actually bought two of them, opened both of them up, didn't open the packs, but just opened them up, put them into my storage thing behind me. So this may have actually been a mix between two, <laughs> but it works. So as always, stay forever, noob. Stay safe, and we'll catch you next time. Peace. Take care.